Hi there, my name's Roo. I'm the publisher for IK Surf Mag and I've been testing kite gear now since 2004. So ridden most of the stuff that's around on the planet and had a good go on most things. We're starting to do a lot more video testing now for IK Surf Mag, which I hope you will enjoy. Um, so if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Anyway, here's a very quick review of the all new Pocket Carbon Custom from F1. So F1 have been making pocket foil boards for a little while now. And if you've enjoyed riding them, then this is gonna be a really nice addition to your quiver. The Carbon Custom, uh, as the name suggests, is a carbon pocket foil board. So it's a lot lighter, it's a lot stiffer, um, and it's made in their custom construction, which is basically uh, a core uh, foam interior with a carbon laminate over the top uh, mast track in the back um, so you can add a few different foils from different brands and a nice all over deck pad on the front it does have um, foot strap options for a y configuration so you've got a single strap at the back and double inserts at the front if you've never ridden one of these boards, then I highly recommend that you try riding a pocket foil board. It's great fun to ride. What you'll find is that with a much smaller board under your feet, there's a lot less faff going on and it just feels a lot smoother. Um, and when you're turning, it's more maneuverable, it's easy. And of course, it's lighter to carry to the beach, especially when it's made in carbon. So this board is exceedingly light, um, but it's also got a bit of shape to it. So quite often with these little boards, they're tiny, thin things made out of twin tip material. They've got no volume to them. And I'm a big fan of having a little bit of volume in your hydrofoil board. If things go wrong, which they do when you're foiling and you end up dropping the kite, you can't relaunch it or whatever, there's a little bit of volume in here to help you paddle home. The board itself is a 120 by 46. So in terms of pocket boards, it's not extreme. It's not, you know, a 110 or a 90 or something like that. There's still a very small area in the nose here. So if you do touch down, it's not going to be the end of the world. I've ridden some 90 centimeter boards and I just found that when you messed up, touched down to the water, whatever it was, they stopped dead and you went flying over the front. With this board, it's actually really easy. And you can see on the front there, there's quite a bit of shaping to it. So it's got a double concave in the nose, which is quite pronounced, which just helps it bump off the bottom. And that comes back to a flat section in the back end here as well. The rails are nicely beveled. There's a lot of profiling on there. I'm gonna do some close-ups of this, which I'll cut in so you can see it. And the all over deck pads is really really comfortable to ride around on. Hydrofoil boards, you're looking for something stiff, something that can transfer your foot movements on the board directly to the foil. And this F1 Pocket Carbon Custom is super stiff. So any little movements that you make, anything that you do whilst you're riding, that's gonna be transferred instantly to your foil, giving you lots of control and maneuverability. I've ridden this quite a lot now. I'm really enjoying it. I tend to sometimes put a front foot strap on in the, because where we ride, we get a lot of waves. So if you've got a front foot strap and you're going out in the waves, it just makes it easier. But I've actually not felt the need to do that with this board yet because it's so small and so easy to maneuver. It's quite easy just to hold it with one hand, get a front foot slapped on the front of it and away you go, you're off. So it's a fantastic board from F1. It's stunning construction it's really lovely to look at i do like the colors and i'm really impressed with how it rides um, the track at the back gives you lots of options for different brands of foil and stuff like that we've done a video in the past talking about where you want to place your hydrofoil in terms of um, foil balance for the board so having a track at the back gives you lots of options there you've got nice bevel rails for jibing it's quite thin in the tail as well so if you are heeling it over, cranking up wind, you're not gonna catch it at all. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic bit of kit. A lot of people don't put much thought into a foil board. They just sort of slap something together and don't really care. I've seen a few homemade ones, which are certainly um, of that ilk. And actually having a board with a bit of shape to it, a bit of a profile in the nose, so that when it does touch down, it's gonna lift up, makes a real difference. So this is a board that I would highly recommend to anyone looking for a top end, small, 
hydrofoil boards um, that they're going to have loads of fun on free riding it's not a race board let's be honest it's a little bit too wide for that but it's definitely thin enough in the tail to go fast so if you're into free ride if you want to do freestyle and you want to jump and stuff like that the lack of weight is going to make it really really nice for that because it doesn't weigh anything you're not going to have any swing weight attached to it so yeah highly recommend this board i've enjoyed riding it and i don't think you'll be disappointed if you own one if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, a share and a thumbs up. Uh, let us know in the comments what you thought. Most of all, please don't forget to subscribe.